Today we have the Vision Special Hosting at Guaca, which is the Greater Waco Advanced Healthcare Academy. And today we're hosting Vision Fest. This is an opportunity for kids around the Waco area to come here and get eye exams and get pairs of glasses for free. Free vision exams, free glasses that we're providing at no cost to the parents. This is a huge opportunity for parents to receive, for kids to receive the vision care they need and the parents not having to worry about the cost. We're doing this because Essilor Vision Foundation's mission is actually awareness, affordability. We want to educate parents on the special need and of course school staff as well educators on the need for vision care. Vision care is a very simple solution that's very, um, it, it's very pretty much hidden that people really don't know the importance of vision care and the importance of getting the glasses they need. Absolutely. So the first step is really getting the consent from the parent to consent to the child having a vision exam. Then they go through, the, the kids come here and they'll come by bus, by school, and they go through the registration area where they actually get an examination form. And with the consent, it goes through where they get their acuities on the wall chart. We get that reading first. Then they go through an auto refractor, which provides a refractive error so the doctor has a baseline and to know where to start to correct that child. So they go through the auto refractor, then they go through the examination room where they receive the actual vision exam by a licensed optometrist. And then when they're prescribed glasses, they go through the frame selection area. They select their glasses, they select their frame. We want them to select something that's stylish, that they like, that they're gonna wear. So we get very nice, high quality frames. And then all the lenses that they get also are polycarbonate, which are safety glasses for the kids so they're not breaking. And then they go out to a coloring room where we keep all the kids until they're all together by bus and then we escort them out to the bus once we have them all together. So we have five staff members here. We actually also have a mobile clinic, if you want to take a look at it. We have a mobile clinic where we're making the glasses. Being that we're towards the end of the school year, we want to get a head start and make the glasses so we can deliver them before the end of the school year. Uh, so we have a mobile clinic here that's making glasses today. We make about 80% of the glasses with stock lenses in here. And then we're taking back the other ones and in the next two days, we'll try to finish as many glasses as we can. And of course, those are our, a high prescription. Uh, we'll go to the lab to be edged and cut and mounted. Uh, but we make about 80% of them here. And kids that have a high prescription, we'll get two pairs of glasses, one will be left at school and one will be taken home with them. Because we want to make sure that they have glasses at all times, because those are the kids that really need them. Okay, we are in the Essilor Vision Van, and here is where we're actually making glasses for students today. One of the really exciting things about the Essilor Vision Fest is that we're allowed, we are engaged our own students. We've been able to train students that are learning healthcare professions at the Greater Waco Advanced Healthcare Academy, and they've been working side by side with doctors to examine students and uh, fit them for glasses. I drive the bus to the various schools that we go to and events like this one. Drove all the way from Fort Worth down here to Waco. Um, what we do normally is we'll have two doctors back here in the back that give full exams. Then I will uh, finish all the glasses on board once they've picked up the frames that they want. And usually we can have them back, them, back to them by the end of the day. It, um, it's, a, it's a really big change from being in the, the corporate field, basically saying, being at a desk, working really hard and not knowing what I'm, what I'm doing all this for, but being in the field and seeing each one of the kids, having their glasses on for the very first time in their lives and finally seeing leaves and trees and things like that. It's, it's, uh, it's really gratifying to see the, the hard work I'm putting in and what, what the outcome is directly. So every high school student that you see in a purple shirt is a student here at the Greater Waco Advanced Healthcare Academy. And it is so exciting to watch those students working with Waco ISD children. They are, um, they're getting experience with 
filling out the paperwork, they're getting experience with doing the screening in each of the different rooms, um, they're working with uh, op optometry equipment, and um, then they also have had the opportunity to take the kids into their lab, and they're showing the children about their work that they do here at the school. And so you're going to see little ones with um, putting gloves on and, and taking the pulse of the uh, dummies that the students work with every day. They're sitting in wheelchairs, they're taking their, uh, listening to their own hearts. It's, uh, it's nice because it demystifies the doctor's office a little bit and it also helps um, the kids see themselves in these roles as they grow older. Makes me feel good because we're helping our community with kids who can't get glasses. Some kids don't even realize that they need it, but with them having glasses, they can see better in order to learn better in classrooms. Volunteering, it helps me um, better myself since I want to go into the medical field, working with um, students, kids, and teamwork and being around others. It makes me happy. I feel engaged, seeing the little kids smile, tell me thank you. So I feel wonderful inside. I think it's a great opportunity here, and what it means to me is that it's a chance for people that were in similar situations that I was in to get glasses and be able to see, because seeing, being able to see the board is, a, is necessary for any school profession. For any grade, you need to be able to see the board. And these kids, as young as they are, they've never, they don't know what it's like to be able to see clearly. And so being able to help them get their glasses is really gratifying. So this has been a project that's been in the works all year long. One of the things that we've identified as needs for our students is glasses. Um, Waco ISD for years has put students through a screening process and that's, that's a, by law we're required to screen our students for vision. But then we've had a breakdown after the initial screening. We've had uh, a process in which we've given our parents uh, a, a voucher to go to the doctor and um, a notification that the students need to have an eye exam but we haven't had a lot of success with from that step to actual exams and glasses for students that need them. Across the nation 25 percent of students need glasses and ours are no different and so when we took a hard look at the problem we started looking at other ways to ensure that our students had the care that they needed and so we started at the beginning of the year within Transformation Waco taking students to local doctors and working with Essilor Foundation to have free glasses for them and then at, have been working all year for this process in which we've lined up doctors and um, all of the the work that needs to be done right here at Guaca and today and tomorrow we'll have 200 students coming through each day to get eye exams and if needed glasses. I wanted to come see this uh, firsthand. We've been working on this project for almost a year and uh, it's just great to see it happen. Um, I see uh, students making classes. I haven't been inside to see them getting uh, tested by the, the docs, but uh, I see the students making the glasses. Um, I've gotten the production rate from this guy and it's just unbelievable. He can crank out a pair of glasses in five minutes. And you think about how much benefit that brings in such a short period of time to these students. It's just really gratifying. Well, I don't think the 400 uh, pairs of glasses that we make in these two days will be the end. We still have significant number of students that need glasses and we're going to, like Dr. McNurm said, see tremendous immediate benefit from having these classes. I think it'll be imperative on us and the district, both Transformation Waco and WISD, to continue this work in a large scale because it does make a difference and that's one of the things that is so rewarding about Transformation Waco is being able to put this on a small pilot basis, demonstrate the need, and then spread out. The resources for this work will be there once the need is demonstrated, the, the benefit and the outcomes are demonstrated. So this has been a collaboration between Waco ISD, Transformation Waco, Essilor Vision Foundation, and most importantly the Rappaport Foundation. The Rappaport Foundation has been 
a funder in this process. They believe in helping kids. They believe in removing academic barriers, and they've been behind us all the way. And so Rappaport has funded the first phase of taking students to the, the travel arrangements, the, the, the small fees that have been tied to our volunteer doctors. They've also um, funded this project today. And then the third phase of this project, Rappaport has funded the equipment to put a clinic here at Guaca. And so as the years go from now, when our students are screened for an exam, we will be able to bring them here to Guaca and get the exams that they need and have students like these making glasses for our kids. Oh my God, I'm incredibly proud. I am so proud of our foundation. I'm so proud of what Waco ISD is doing because this is a district that really cares for the kids and that's why they're doing this. They're a huge advocate of vision. They know the importance of vision. They know that getting those glasses on the kids will definitely help them succeed in school.